Today we are knocking out a one day project. Welcome to my office. This is not where I make videos, but this is where I actually do my day job. From eight to five, Monday through Friday, this is where I sit. And I have a three monitor setup and it's wonderful. The problem is I didn't realize that these desks were nearly as short as they were. So when I'm at a comfortable work position, the screens just feel a little too close. If I measure them, we're at like 33 inches. And like, I feel like I'm having to turn my head quite a bit. When I bought the desk, I didn't want three monitor stands. So I bought a single monitor stand that has a giant arm that goes behind all three. And I really like how clean the desk is. Along with having an narrow desk, I didn't realize that it stood so far off the back. So I want to move the monitors back. And I think I'm going to move them back. I think you're supposed to do a cross section of your entire monitor, but that's way too big. That's 64. Like, what if we do like one and a half? It's 45. actually not that bad. I might actually do a little bit more. See, now you can see the problem. I can't reach my keyboard. At the same time, I'm comfortable from my monitors. Today's project is going to be disassemble the monitors and modify the main stand. So right now the main stand is just one single monolithic pole. And I think I'm going to cut two angles in it, using the material to go back further and then up. It'll get a little bit shorter, but that's not a big deal. And that will allow me to move the monitors back, which allows me to move the desk forward, which will put the keyboards more comfortably where they should be. And I think I'm gonna be really happy with that. So we're gonna take everything apart. We're gonna take the stand into the shop we're going to see how far back we can move the monitors and we'll go from there. With the base pulled off of the table, I've gone ahead and done some measuring and did a quick drawing to figure out exactly how I wanted to modify this. And I'm going to do two 22 and a half degrees or thereabouts cuts. This doesn't have a 22 and a half degree mark. So I just eyeballed it as close as I could. Uh, the important part is both of them have to be the same and both of them have to be parallel with each other so that when you rotate the part around, you offset that cut. So it'll come out, go this way, and then come out again. I'm gonna do the cuts at one and a quarter, and then at 11 and a half inches, and that will set the uh, monitors back about eight inches. I'll rotate the parts around, set them up with some clamps on the table, and then we're going to MIG it, we're going to paint it, we're going to bake it, and then we'll be able to get it installed back on the desk and get this project done with.
Now I usually don't show this part because I don't have a good way to really spray paint anything. So I'm doing something usually crazy like this, hanging them on poles outside, but it's gonna be raining outside, so I can't do that. Or I'm doing something silly like attaching it to my bed lift. Somebody in the comments made a suggestion for me to go over this. And there's a couple things I absolutely hate about it. I no longer put the camper bed on it. So I'm gonna turn it into a tray for all the wood that's over here. And I'll be making a video of that some point in the near future. So if you're interested in that, I suggest subscribing so that you can get a notification when that comes out. Now let's get to my goofy way of painting things. Also, the camera is clear across the other side of the room, so none of this dust is gonna get on my electronics. Do that three more times and then we'll let it dry for a couple hours, put it in the oven and then do final assembly. Okay, let's see how it all turned out. And from initial feelings, I like the distance a lot more. Like I can see exactly how much I said, one and a half screens. What I really meant to say was two screens, but like one and then a half screen on each side. And I don't have to turn my head nearly as much as I did. They are a little bit high. So I can go ahead and bring those down and they'll be line of sight and it'll be perfect. And it feels like I have so much more dust space as well. I'm really happy with the way this turned out. Um, not too shabby for a one day project. I guess that's it for this one. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions, I do love hearing from you down below. Comments and critiques are welcome. Just remember to be nice. I'm still gonna push for that 10,000 subs by the end of 2020. I realize that it's probably gonna almost be impossible, but I mean, it's a goal and let's try to hit it. Um, so if you're interested in this video, more videos, the wood rack video that I have planned, a bunch of exciting stuff is gonna be happening for the rest of the year. And if you're interested in these kind of projects, I highly recommend subscribing. But with that, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.